So in the last video, we learned about um, Ansible Vault and how to create secret files in Ansible or encrypted files or encrypted content in Ansible. If you miss any of the videos in the series, please see the description of this video to see the playlist. Um, if you have any question, please ask in the comment box. Also, we have this repository where we are going to push every um, samples or comments or the playbook uh, for the reference if you have any questions. Okay, we will do a demo for this uh, secret in playbook use case and for that we have this inventory here, save inventory, nothing changed and we have this ansible.cfg which is the default one. Right now we do not have any playbook here so we are going to create a playbook. So we will create something like vim site.yml so we have to give a name okay using secrets playbook and we are going to run it against nodes and become true Okay, we will go. To, we will do something like uh, creating a user accounts uh, in the nodes uh, because we, we want to test how this one will work. Okay, we will add tasks. So the tasks are very simple. So we will just create uh, users. Create a users. User. Okay, let's create one user first, and the module is user, and I want to create. Uh, um, one user so I'm going to use like name equal to uh, username user underscore name then okay maybe we try username then password password okay this is very simple right but we have a um, few issues here. First thing, username and password we didn't declare anywhere. Okay, these variables we have to take it from a secret. So let it be here. Now we want to, we, we cannot, okay, we can simply uh, put it like uh, what's username, new user, password. my password this one will work but we cannot do it in this way so we are going to encrypt this username and password and use it inside our playbook okay i will just take these items and we will create a user password secret okay so we are we want to create is username and password secret. So inside here we'll do something like username new user password my password. Good. But this is a this is a simple file and not encrypted. So we will do something like ansible vault encrypt user password.yaml so I will use ansible as the vault password I try this content again okay it's already encrypted now I want to use this inside so now we have a variable file so we will use words underscore files then user password.yaml okay user password.yaml so we are asking we are telling ansible okay include the variables from this file let's try what will happen i want to show you the error ansible playbook site.yaml okay so ansible saying it's attempting to decrypt some content from the file but it's not working because no vault secret provided Okay, so we, we can check the Ansible help 
and see what is the options for providing this username for providing the vault password so if you check there is a option uh, called uh, vault id and vault password file so you can uh, have two methods one is a uh, vault id it means it will ask you for the vault password or you can use a uh, vault password inside a file we will try both so we will use the same command ansible playbook site.yaml then we need to tell ansible to prompt for the vault password in the older version you can still use uh, ask pass i will show you that first so in the older version you can use like hyphen hyphen ask vault pass so this one still work later or latest way is to use the vault id so we will use like uh, ansible playbooks ml then we will put like vault vault underscore id because we don't have id so we will tell okay prompt okay ask me for the password okay so it's asking for the vault password so i enter ansible now it's trying okay uh this one i purposefully did something here i will show you because the input password we put as a without hashing so what we will do we will hash it again so remember we can use the vault id and the prompt so it will ask you for the password we will fix this issue first vim side.yaml so here we are using the unhashed password what you can do is password and uh, hash and you can mention which hash you are to use so so this is uh, required because uh, ansible uh, user module is expecting us to provide a hashed password so if you give a plain text password even though it's encrypted inside the vault when you decrypt it will be a plain text right so it's expecting something hashed password so you can hash the password using the password hash filter we will try this again no error this time uh, we can try to log in so we will try like ssh new user at node one it's asking for the password my password good uh, we are inside the node one using the new user account uh, this is very simple now our issue is every time it is asking for the password so if you are using ansible tower you have an option called credentials you can keep this vault details inside but for the ansible engine or the cli method you have to keep this password somewhere safely and instead of asking this password every time you can point this file to fetch the password so we will do that first so our password is ansible so i i am a wagon user here what i am doing is vim my vault so this is my file where i am going to keep ansible nothing else it's just a password so i have this file in my home directory something like hidden file and no one else will be able to access this file now when i execute this so we will do the same thing but this time we are going to use the vault password which we have saved inside a hidden file in our home directory so ansible playbook set.yaml then instead of alt uh, ask vault pass or instead of vault id i am going to use vault password file my vault see it's not asking for the password instead it will take the vault password from the file and execute symbol okay so this is very basic one so you can save any number of vault uh, variables or what files inside ansible using ansible vault and you can encrypt it decrypt it and also you can use inside your playbook and when you execute the playbook you can pass this vault password 
so ansible will encrypt and use the variable or content of the file it can be uh, variables it can be api keys it can be uh, even you can encrypt some uh, secret playbooks using alt ansible vault and ansible will take care of that okay uh, this is very basic one so also remember the uh, hashing uh, for the user module it won't uh, throw an error but it will show you the warning like it's expecting some hashed password rather than a plain text password that's all and uh, uh, read uh, documentation for more details on the vault uh, or the secret uh, handling and if you have any question please ask in the comment box and for the reference you can refer the repository where you will find these demo files demo playbooks everything okay and uh, thank you for watching see you next time with another video and thank you